I know what I'm seeing tomorrow. Another glorious day has arrived to go to the movies. The Birds of Prey are here, and they are not flying the coop anytime soon. Oh yeah, just sitting here, just sipping my hot tea, talking to my fiance. Get ready now. Still pretty rainy out. Probably not the best way to walk in, although I might walk over there anyways. I don't mind the rain. Credence Clearwater Revival certainly didn't mind it. I'm singing in the rain. Anyway, how about a little entering into my mouth transition? Welcome back to this haven of homogenized capitalism. Got the tickets. Once six o'clock rolls around, we will indulge in DC's Kill Bill Volume 3. Or perhaps we can call it Quentin Tarantino's Moulin Rouge. I had to come out here under the trees because sometimes these people creep me out. I feel like they're watching me sometimes. Yeah. Got some Taco Bell. What do you call fries that aren't yours? Nacho fries. At least they have a nice carousel. Yada yada yada, clothing store, clothing store. Yeah, you already know how boring this place is. This shit costs two dollars now. Listen to that one showtime. Uh, eat my rotten chili dog, Sonic. You know, I almost kind of feel sorry for him, the little blue 90s wonder. I just got this nickel out of this urinal that also has pennies in it. Don't worry, I sanitized it. I mean, yeah, gross, but you can't let a good silver coin go to waste. All right, about 15 minutes to showtime. The Dolby Theater. This place needs an IMAX already. Really not be an IMAX theater. But it's lit. It's got recliner seats. And it's got a great view. Well, let's wade through a bunch of painful ads and some boring trailers and then let's enjoy the eccentric personality of Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. raining thankfully so birds of prey and the fabulous forgetting of jared leto's joker i liked it i had a lot of fun does it have its issues oh yeah but nothing that pisses me off it's at least better than suicide squad and i haven't even seen that yet basically what this film is it's basically what suicide squad wishes it could be margot robbie is the star of this fucking movie and oh yeah you bet even though the plot does need a little work but, you know, it doesn't really piss me off. The movie's funny, and it's ridiculous, like it's supposed to be. Wonder what it would have been like if Quentin Tarantino actually uh, directed this. Yeah, no offense to him, but his overlong dialogue scenes probably wouldn't have worked so well in his favor with this movie. I know I definitely love the non-linear editing style. Again, very much like Tarantino. It just adds so much depth to a plot and, uh, you know, conveying a narrative. Hope we get a Huntress spinoff movie too. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna get this when it comes out on Blu-ray. Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn is basically what these wannabe liberal feminist types wish they could be, instead of generic Mary Sue's. I gotta tell y'all one thing though, by the end of the movie you'll definitely be wanting an Egg McMuffin. You'll see what I mean. So yeah, overall, yeah, it definitely still has its problems, but it's enjoyable and DC's going in the right direction. So what'd you think of it? Leave your comments in the comment section, viewers. Anyway, peace, love, and keep on nerding out. Pull out your star-studded hammers and do some whack-a-joker. <laughs>